Hey guys, I'm LingVid, and welcome to this science experiment. Today, we're gonna figure out if bricks retain water and what that means for your house during the winter time. It's time for a science experiment. This science experiment's gonna come in two parts. First, we need to do a demonstration of what happens to water whenever it's frozen, like in the winter time. And the second part of the demonstration is to see if bricks retain water and what that can mean for your house. So first what you wanna do is grab a glass bottle, uncap it, and we wanna fill it all the way to the top with water. Go ahead and cap it off. And then we're gonna take our glass bottle of water and put it in the freezer. We're gonna let that sit in there for 24 to 48 hours. Now this is what you'll need for the second part of this science experiment. Two buckets big enough to fit a brick. You're gonna need some rain guard winterizer, some water, two bricks, and a measuring cup. First thing we wanna do is use the rain guard to put a barrier in between the brick and the elements, which in our case is gonna be the water, to see if it stops the brick from absorbing water. And then we're gonna put the other brick without the winterizer in the tub of water to see how much water is absorbed. Now let's go outside and coat one of our bricks with the winterizer. All right guys, it is 48 hours later. Let's take a look at our bottle that we put into the freezer with the water in it. Whoa, look at this. Can y'all see all the cracks in the bottle there? So what happened is the water expands whenever it freezes, thus cracking the bottle because it was sealed tight. So it's been 72 hours now and the brick has cured. So now it's time to run the experiment. Did you thumb up this video yet? Huh? Did you? Did you? You should. All right guys, let's do this. Here we go, one brick in, boom. The other brick in, boom. And here I have 32 ounces of water pouring over the brick with the rain guard. Let's dump that into the container with the brick without the rain guard. This is the one that didn't have the rain guard on it. And uh, I must say that the top of it turned a little bit of a different color. It's darker, so it looks like it soaked up some of the water. As opposed to the one with the rain guard on it, it's still a very light color and you can see, it's almost like rain -X, how the, the water just falls off the brick. Now seeing what happened to our glass bottle, the glass broke, it makes you wonder what's going on with your bricks on your house if they're always getting rain or sleet or hail and then in the winter time all that water that's trapped in the bricks freezes. Do you think that it could possibly be deteriorating your bricks? Honestly, I've never thought about this before until I found this product. And now that I've done this experiment, it seems like it makes sense to want to winterize your home so that it's protected from all the elements. Now that summer is ending and fall is about to start up, I would say that it's the perfect time to, to winterize your house if you want to winterize it. Uh, August, September, I believe, is the best months to do it in. Probably would make sense since it'll be getting cooler outside so you can bear it. So if you guys want to protect your house, down in the description below is a coupon code where you can save 15% on some rain guards so that your house can be protected. If you guys want more videos from us, make sure to click that subscribe button. We always appreciate that. Also, a thumbs up is awesome whenever you guys do that. We always appreciate a good thumbs up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being shiggity shank.